We are Luminous Figure Painters. Welcome. This is the first in the painting tutorial series devoted to the corrupted warrior devotees of Nurgle, the Death Guard, in a grimdark style. Today, I'll show you how to paint a plague marine from the pallid hand, masters of the armored assault. Now let's light our lamps and grab our brushes. Start off priming the mini in Vallejo Acrylics Desert Tan Primer, then cover it with Vallejo Model Air's Yellow Ochre. Let that dry, then clean out your cup and add Vallejo Game Color Moon Yellow and White at about a 2 to 3 ratio, and spray that mix at about a 45 degree angle. You want this to be a very pale yellow. The name given these guys' armor color is Bleak Yellow, just to give you an idea. Now, wash out your cup again, and, but leave a smidge of that mix in and add a little bit more white. Hit the highlights on the backpack, head, upper chest, knees, and toes to get a really hot transition. After that, we'll start to bring back a little of the color we lost by desaturating with white. Load your airbrush with Citadel's Cassandora Yellow and spray it into the shades of the model, or the nadir. You want to blow this at 5 PSI or less. Finally, spray Vallejo Game Ink Sepia in the same way, and don't worry about little splatters or dots. There's more flavor that way. Now we'll base coat the pauldrons with Vallejo Game Color's Extra Opaque Green. Base coat the tubes on his face with Viejo Game Color Extra Opaque Red. Base coat the horns that are coming out of his armor and his head with Viejo Game Color Extra Opaque Charcoal. Now we'll add some texture to those horns with a slightly thinned 50-50 mix of charcoal and Viejo Blue Gray Pale. You can spread these out a touch to slightly resemble growth spurts, kind of like tree rings. Then, go with straight blue-gray pale, painting thinner lines closer together as you near the base of the horns. Spikes, fungal outgrowths, whatever. Mix that with pale blue from Viejo Model Color and repeat, then go with just blue pale. Now we'll mix some heavy green and sunny skin tone from Viejo, thin it a touch, and add some highlights to those green panels. Give it some texture with a sharp, tipped brush and thin lines painted somewhat randomly. Step it up one more time with some more sunny skin tone. Paint the leather with um, Leather Brown by Vallejo Model Color. Highlight it with Orange Brown from Vallejo Model Color. Now we'll block out the metals. Hit the trim with Balthasar Gold from Citadel. Two thin coats should do it. Now paint these iron bits like the weapon halves, the doodads on the backpacks, chains, pipe fittings, all of these get Viejo Metal Color Burnt Iron. You can then dry brush a touch of Viejo Metal Color Silver on the highlights just to pop them out. Give a little metallic sheen to all those coppery bits with brass balls from P3. I'm still on the hunt for a good bright brass and dark bronze color. Any suggestions? Throw them down in the comments section below. For whom the bell tolls, time marches on. Base these bells in Citadel's Warplock Bronze. Thank you. 
Now we'll paint these dandy little mementos from friends long gone. Base these and the fleshy tubes with a Citadel's Rackarth flesh. Dilute Druchy Violet with Lamian Medium and wash it into the recesses. Not all over as I did here. What a goon. While that dries, we can base the tentacles and uh, tumors with Bugman's Glow. Or are they teeth? Blech. The Druchy Violet should be dry now, so let's wash some Caraberg Crimson over the top of both of these flesh tones, starting with the pale one. This should give these bits the look of a putrid rot which is delicious and nutritious. Now we'll re-highlight the pale flesh with Rackarth again and little spot highlights with Pallid Witch from Citadel. You can add scratches and ribbing texture to these surfaces using lines painted with a nice thin brush. Vary the distance between parallel lines on the fleshy tubes to get a more gastrointestinal look. Who's hungry? Thin your Bugman's Glow and glaze it at a nice middle point on the tentacles, then add lines with Kislev Flesh. Base any skulls you've got with Vallejo Extra Opaque Khaki, then highlight with Vallejo Game Color Bone White. Last but not least, get a couple scratches, nicks, and highlights on the yellow armor with white from Viejo Model Color and a nice, nice thin brush tip. Now we'll save our progress and paint job by spraying on some slightly thinned Vallejo Mecha Varnish Gloss at about 20 PSI. This step will also help to break up the surface tension for the next steps, which are all including enamels. Wash the whole model, minus the fleshy or de demonic bits, with ammo by MIG's Light Rust Wash. Allow 20 to 30 minutes for that to dry and then moisten a cotton swab with Winsor & Newton's Artist White Spirits and remove the excess wash that might have settled on some flat panels. You can dab the swab to achieve uh, some muddling and surface variation as well. You don't have to remove all of it. Now we'll do a more targeted wash with Ammo by MIG's Track Wash. And while it's still wet, we can sort of wet blend with Ammo's light rust deposits. Let those dry and streak the rust where you think it'll work. Then remove to your desired look. This next step is for demonstration purposes and should really only be used on the bronze or copper-based metals you've painted. 
with a touch of white spirits, thin and mix some cerulean and viridian oil paints from Winsor and Newton, and glaze over the bronze, such as the bells. Add a touch of very light gray to your verdigris mix and get a fresher look to your patina. And with that, the entropy has commenced. Very disgusting, no? Base up that nasty feller however you like, and maybe even add some blood for the blood god to make him extra ooky. That's all for now. I hope you liked this tutorial and found it educational. Stay tuned for more in the coming weeks. In the meantime, check out my link tree and follow me on social media accounts. Drop me a like, add a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications. Until next time, have a safe journey and make sure to bring a light.